Hi guys, Mr. Davis here from the Geography Department and I'm here to talk to you about why you might want to pick GCSE Geography next year. When thinking about geography, I always like to start by looking at a group of seemingly unrelated people who actually all have something in common. And that common ground is geography. Prince William, Michael Jordan and Theresa May all studied geography at university or college. Mother Teresa taught geography and Greta Thunberg's involvement with geography is through her activism with climate change. And it's people like this who I think demonstrate just how far geography reaches outside of what we consider our subject. Geography is all around us all of the time, from things like your hometown, school, country and then the world. All of this can be investigated through studying geography. So why would you want to study geography? Simply put, it's interesting. Finding out about how the world works and investigating the things that puzzle us is the great thing about our subject. And when you become a geographer, it allows you to have a better understanding of all the kinds of things that happen in the world. Geography is a subject that is growing in popularity at GCSE, A-level and university, with many people regarding geography as the must-have qualification. But what is it that makes geography so popular? One reason is that geography complements a wide variety of different subjects, with many geographers also studying subjects such as biology, due to the two subjects linking through topics such as disease, the environment and ecology. Maths as it complements the data analysis carried out in geographical investigations using graphs and statistics, plus a range of other subjects such as politics, ICT, RE and languages. Geography is a very popular subject at the university with many of our students going on to study it in one form or another. The popularity of geography is also a result of the huge successes that university graduates have in the job market, with people who study geography having a much lower unemployment rate than those who study other subjects such as history, ICT and maths. Geographers are attractive employees due to the wide variety of skills that we develop, from subject specific skills such as map and fieldwork skills, to a huge range of transferable skills such as analysing articles, critical analysis, decision making and problem solving. This range of skills are highly sought after by sixth form colleges, universities and employers making geography one of the most versatile subjects that you can study. As you would imagine, a wide range in skill set also results in a wide range of career choices, with people who study the subject going on to work in sectors such as law, IT, research, banking and many, many more. If you don't know what you want to do as a career yet, geography could be the perfect subject for you to learn those transferable skills that will give you a huge advantage in many different career pathways. Your GCSE Geography will be split into two main sections, Physical Geography and Human Geography. And within those sections, you'll have four different units of work. In the Our Natural World section, or Physical Geography, you will study global hazards, where we'll be looking at how earthquakes, volcanoes and hurricanes occur, and investigate the devastation that they have on people when they happen. In the Changing Climate module, we will look at how the human race is accelerating the changes to the global climate system, the impacts this will have on a global scale and whether it is a positive or a negative thing for the UK. Distinctive landscapes will look at how UK landscapes change over time, what makes them distinctive and with a particular focus on river and coastal landscapes. Finally, for physical geography, we have sustaining ecosystems where we look at the delicate balance required for the world's ecosystems to function, how human activities disrupt these ecosystems and our attempts at managing and reversing the damages done. In the Human Geography section, or People and Society, you'll be studying the Urban Futures module, which looks at how towns and cities have changed in the past, the ways of life in a city and the challenges that they face in the future. In Dynamic Development, we will be investigating how countries develop, the difference in development between those countries and the quality of life of people in different countries around the world. When we study UK in the 21st century, we investigate how the UK has changed during the 21st century in terms of its economy, its population and its culture. We look at how different ethnic groups have influenced the UK culture and whether or not the UK still has a global significance. In the resource reliance module, we focus on whether the world is running out of resources, how we change the environment to access resources, and whether or not we'll be able to feed 9 billion people by the year 2050. 
Throughout each of the units you study, you'll also develop your geographical and fieldwork skills, which will then be put into practice when we go on our residential field trip to North Wales in the March of Year 10. This will be a three day trip consisting of a river study on the first day where you're going to be getting in and out of a river taking measurements, a geographical skills day on the second where we'll practice orienteering, map reading and landscape analysis skills whilst walking up Morvana, and on the final day we'll be travelling to Chester to carry out an urban investigation within the city centre. But it's not just all work and no play, we will be taking part in the activities whilst we're there such as caving, nightline and obstacle courses which if any of you have been to Colomendi you will be quite familiar with. All of this will be building up to your GCSE Geography Assessment at the end of Year 11 where you will sit three papers. Under the OCR B specification, paper one will be on the Our Natural World or Physical Geography unit plus your River Study Fieldwork. Paper two will be on the People and Society or Human Geography units plus your Urban Investigation Fieldwork. And the final paper three will be based on your overall geographical skills, which draws on all of the knowledge and skills built up through studying the entire course. These three papers will then be combined to calculate your final grade. Your teachers for GCSE Geography will be Mr Norton, the Head of Geography, myself, Mr Davis and Miss Tuck. All three of us have the enthusiasm, the passion and the experience to deliver a fantastic journey through GCSE Geography and to push you to achieve your full potential within the subject. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to our presentation. If you've got any questions or queries, then feel free to come and see us in the department and school or just drop us an email via our school emails. We look forward to seeing you all in the course next year.